Hi there. Well, I'm really excited today to show you some different holsters, specifically for women, right? I want to show you the different options that are available out there, the plethora of options that are available for women. So I'm going to be exhibiting, exhibiting, I don't know if that's the right word, I'm going to be showing you various options that you can choose for yourself, which one you think you might like the best. So I hope this will be helpful. Let's go try some clothes on and some holsters. Here we are at Buck and Doe's and I'm excited to show you my first holster. All right, so this one, you can see I'm wearing kind of a crop top and it is a corset holster, which is great. It's called Hidden Heat is the name of the brand. Um, it can be zipped up or it has little clasps in the back that you can use. What's great about the corset is that it hugs you in. <laughs> it does two for one. So it hugs you in, but it keeps your gun nice and close so you can still get a good grip on it. All right, so if I was to grip it, I'd have to do it fast like that and practice, right? You're gonna need to practice from whatever holster you choose. I can also keep like my knife. I could keep my lipstick, my credit cards. You know, if you're going somewhere and it may be a gun-free zone, then you could still use this to hold all your credit cards, money, and then you don't have to have a purse. Perfect. Hello. So the next holster that I suggest is a belly band. So you'll notice the belly band here. This is one by Kat Luca, K-A-T-L-U-C-A. -A. What's great about hers is that she put this ribbing in it. So oftentimes belly bands will fold or they'll start to, to kind of crunch up. Hers stays nice and flat. And I re met her recently and she's a fabulous woman. So look her up. But Kat Luca, you see how the gun is tucked neatly inside and it's got an extra little strap here to make it clip in and be extra safe. So that would be a great option. Now also, you notice I'm wearing a jacket. So in the winter, we can get away with outside the waistband, okay? So I have my outside the waistband. Now this is obviously not concealed with the jacket off, but when I have my jacket on, perfectly concealable. So you might wanna wear just a plaid shirt or just a lightweight shirt or jacket, and you'd be concealed as well. So I just wanna give you that option as well. Hey there, so this holster that I'm gonna show you is so awesome because it's not just for keeping your gun, it's for hiking or going on trails because look, it attaches to your body. Now you can wear this in multiple you know, uh, ways. You can use it as a backpack, you can use it as a crossbody, but frankly, I like using it like this. And notice how it hangs to my leg, it attaches to my leg. It's called the U Koala bag. And I'm gonna put links to all these in the video below. But U Koala makes these and you can get different designs. Mine happens to have Phoenix on it. What's great is that it comes with a built-in holster specifically for your make and model of gun. And it's in an open pocket so that if I need to, it's easily accessible. I don't have to unzip anything and I can simply draw the gun quickly as possible without having to uh, fumble for it in a purse. Obviously, you can't take the gun on a plane, but I will take the gun out, you know, check it and whatnot. But then I can carry this on the plane. And it's great because it doesn't count as a carry-on because it's attached to your body. How cool is that? So different makes and models, look them up, um, and we're ready to get them. Hey guys, I want to show you um, another holster that I love, especially if you're a runner or walker or hiker or whatnot. It's a fanny pack looking holster. It's called the Galco, G-A-L-C-O. And it's perfectly fitted or you request what kind of gun you carry and they will insert a holster specifically for your make and model of gun. So you can see their Galco right there. So I can easily get a grip and draw if I need to. Uh, it doesn't hold a lot more in there, so you have a little pocket here to keep your phone or pepper spray. Um, because as we know, we want to keep other options. We don't want to always default to the gun. If we can thwart behavior by using pepper spray or issuing commands, stop, get back, so much so the better. Which speaking of running and being outside, pay attention to your surroundings. Make sure you're not listening to your earbuds full blast so that you can hear things happening around you. Okay, so this is a great way to be prepared you can get out, enjoy the great outdoors, and live life. Hello. I'm wanting to show you one last holster today. Ladies, when we're out to dinner, we're wearing our nicer attire, or 
maybe even going to a wedding and you want to be able to conceal carry, there's another great option by Dean Adams. So I'm gonna show you what I have underneath. Is a looks kind of a Spanx, but you notice it holds my gun. It's got a trigger guard inside and it holds it so it's easily accessible on the inside. And again, this kind of holds you in, so it's two for one. Holds you in and slims you up, but holds your gun for you. So don't be afraid to try this out. I even wore this when I was a bridesmaid and I had this beautiful velvet dress. I had my gun underneath. So another option to go and dance the night away and have fun and still feel safe. Hey everyone, I hope you learned a lot of good ideas for different types of holsters, especially women. Guys, if you're watching, awesome, but go and share with your beloved about different options in case they're wondering, how do I carry this? I don't want to carry a gun. And you can show them different ways. Now remember, it's going to be important to practice drawing from whatever option you choose for concealment. So um, make sure you dry gun practice, that is without any ammunition, you know, whatsoever in the gun, and just practice drawing that gun. And I often hear women tell me that they just don't know that they could ever carry a gun on their person. And I totally get it, but start off slow. You know, maybe just pick out one of the holsters I showed you and don't carry a gun in it. Just keep it empty and get used to how that feels. And then maybe add a gun to it that's unloaded. And then you can add, you know, a round to it. Just baby steps, right? Just get into where you feel comfortable. So thank you for joining me today. And um, I look forward to seeing you back here soon.